Mr. and Mrs. Lombard, you have a vacant lot. Yes, Your Honor. How large is the vacant lot? The one adjoining their property is uh, four-sevenths of an acre. We have four lots adjoining there, too. And you've owned them for a long time. Well, you've owned this lot. I'm only interested in this lot. You've yes, owned it for a long time. Yes. For what? It's, it's family property. It was my grandfather's, my father's, and now mine. Sentimental reasons. Do you live close by? No, we live about a half hour away on the other side of Pueblo. Do you think one day these, all these little pieces will be valuable? No, it's just something to leave for our children. What do they do with it? I mean, do they go off a picnic there? Do they use it for No, anything? it's just vacant property to build a house on. Each one is like a building property if you want it to build How a long house. has it been in your family? Well, my grandfather since 1952. And how long have you owned it? I was third partnership since 1984 and half partnership since so... Oh, that partnership with whom? First my grandmother, then me and my brother, my grandmother died. Then me and my father, my brother sold out to... And then uh, my father sold out to me uh, after pretty much all the property was gone except this one little piece on top of the hill. I bought him out and we've so kept it So who are you in partnership with now? My wife. Oh, just you and your wife. Okay. It is your claim that the defendant had cement blocks on your property which caused damage to the grass, and you want her to be responsible for that. She says that she recently bought the property. These blocks were on the property when she bought the property. She sort of got a ridiculous counterclaim that is the cost of removing the blocks because she moved them further back on her property. So that's sort of ridiculous. If you didn't have to move them, you didn't have to move them. If you moved them, it was because you knew that they were at least partially on his property. Well, Your Honor, I moved them because they continuously harassed me, my kids, and I was just tired of it. Well, I'm telling you, there are other things that you could do. You can yes. call the police and get the police a restraining order. You could do a, times. you can do a whole bunch of things. But if you move them, you don't get paid for that. Yes. Okay. Do you have photographs of the concrete blocks that yes, you allege we were on the property? And do you have photographs of this lot of property before, before? there were blocks on it? Yes. No. You don't? No, not before the blocks were there. Why? Just You've owned the, the property for half cause, a century. Because we didn't have any reason to have a picture of it. Uh, we were joined by eight other neighbors, and nobody's ever done something like this to us before. We've never had a problem. Your Every, Honor, practically no. everybody else has their own fence. Your Honor, these blocks have been there since before I even purchased the property. So Listen to me. I don't know. They can't prove that these blocks weren't there 40 years ago. This looks like a whole junkyard anyway. It does. I don't know what you want. Uh, you know, the, there's you, people that go on top of that hill. Shh. It looks like a junkyard. What do you want to have it made into a garden? No. No, that's that's her yard there. Ours Where's is yours? just flat. Ours is just Well, I want to see the concrete blocks on your property. That's what I want to see. That, that's the slabs. It's concrete slabs that what, what it appears is that she put in a new patio, knocked out the old patio and piled the slabs onto our property. I, I'm asking you if this is your property. Yes, it is. It looks like dirt. Yes, it, with it, it is. Slabs. It's vacant property. Fine. So she says she moved the slabs off your property. Later, that's that's on our property at this Who point. Who cares? It's dirt. She yes. moved it back off. It's not as if you had the botanical gardens and she destroyed no. it, sir. It no, looks like a property. junkyard. Yes. But it's our vacant property that we want to keep for our family. Okay, so she's not paying you ours. any money. Do you have the picture of after you moved these concrete blocks back on your property? Yes, I do. I'd like to and take I a look at it. And I also have pictures. Shh, just okay. show me a picture when you moved it back on your property. Okay, so this is now on your property. Correct. Would you show this to them and ask them if the pile of rocks and concrete are now on the defendant's property? I can't tell it's by this photo. It's hard to tell at that angle. We have other photos, we... but we did take a photo after she did move it. So she moved it? She did move it back to her side of the property. So on. what do you want? We want to put up a fence. So, I don't... so because there's irreparable damage to our property. No, there isn't. Have an expert here showing me there's irreparable damage to this place, this vacant dirt. Yes, but... You're not getting any money. I want you to get that idea out of your brain. 